Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Discard Dead, where we like to open boosters, boxes and decks of out of print trading card games. Yu Yu Hakusho is a one on one tournament style game where players pit their fighters against each other for glory. Humans, demons and everything in between can be seen fighting these dark tournaments and it's time for you to get ready because your fight is about to begin. Being a tournament style game, your objective is to take out three of up to five of your opponent's fighters by combining powerful techniques with special items to enhance your fighters and unleashing their devastating powers. Alternatively, you win if your opponent's deck runs out of cards. Let's have a look at what the human and demon realms have to offer. Put them together to become the greatest fighters to seize victory. Character cards here represent the members of your fighting team. Their information is all here, including their name and what team they're on, their defense value, attacks they have, attack costs and strengths, as well as whether they are a hero or a villain. Technique cards depict special abilities or attacks your characters can use. These can be used instead of the attacks printed on your character cards, and like the text box on a character, it shows the attack details such as its cost and its power. As an important note, character cards and technique cards have a dark circle next to their attacks with a number. This number is the amount of cards that you must discard from your hand to use the attack. Items are special equipment, weapons and whatever that can give your character the edge in battle. They can either increase the power of an attack, provide a special effect or maybe both. Finally, events are plot twists or other occurrences that happen in the Yu Yu Hakusho storyline. No spoilers. They can have wild effects that make drastic changes to either team during the turn they are played on. Since you already start with 4 of your 5 character spaces full, your deck will likely contain mostly technique, item and event cards. You could of course include other character cards as long as they are not duplicates of existing members of your team. Your deck must have at least 40 cards with no more than 3 copies of any single card. Now let's take a quick look at the playmat and see how our matches line up. On one side of the playmat is the arena where battles are fought. The acting character is central to your area with special item and technique slots on either side of them. Across from them is the deck zone and then the sideline which is made up of 4 slots for additional characters. Above them is the spirit tracker which shows how much spirit energy you have at your disposal for techniques and items. Oh yeah, and even if it isn't on the mat, to the other side of the arena is the winner's circle. After a character is defeated they are placed face down here while the winner is placed face up. If you have three phase up characters here at the end of the turn, you win. Going back to the playmat, let's get into how we prepare to beat face. Firstly, place your spirit token on your spirit tracker at zero. Next, place your four starting characters face down in the character spaces, one in the arena and the other three in the second, third and fourth match slots on the sideline. Once both players have done this, Flip over and reveal your characters at the same time. Finally, shuffle your decks, decide who starts first, and then each player draws four cards. There are only three steps in a turn each player must take before their turn ends. First is the draw step, where you draw two cards from your deck. If you are going first, skip this on your first turn. Then you gain two spirit energy, moving your spirit tracker up by two. The spirit energy is spent to play cards or use card abilities. Second is the main step, where cards can be played from your hand. You can play a fifth character card into the empty space at the end of the sideline, which cannot be the same as another character in play. Also, each character slot can only keep one character card. You may attach an item to one of your characters in the arena or on the sidelines. The spirit cost is paid if attached to a character in the arena. If you play it to a sidelined character, place it face down beneath them without paying the spirit energy cost. The spirit cost is paid when the character moves to the arena and the item is flipped over. You may attach a technique card to a character in the arena or in the sidelines. Just like items, pay the cost if it goes to the arena or play it face down and unpaid if to the sidelines. Finally, you can play an event by spending the energy cost, following the card's instructions and then discarding it. Alternatively, if you have a card with a main step effect, you may use it now, paying any costs if required. At last, now we come to the battle step, where your character unleashes devastating attacks to knock out your opponents.
Finally, we get to the face beating. As I said, this is where you can take down your opponent's fighters after equipping and powering up your own. Winning matches is where it's at, and you must deal 4 points of damage to a fighter to beat them. For each point of damage a character takes, their card is rotated clockwise 90 degrees, and when they take their fourth point and have rotated to the original position, they are defeated and placed in the winner's circle of face down. The winner, face up. Firstly, declare your attack. Are you using the attack printed on your character, or are you using a technique card? Make sure you pay any costs and discard the required number of cards first. Next, if there are any effects that trigger when you attack, make sure to resolve them before damage. How do you inflict damage, you say? By hitting them with an attack that is in equal or greater power than their defense. If your attack is at least twice as much, you deal 2 points of damage. It's as easy as that. You can also do what is called minimum damage if you are too weak to fight. You perform your attack and follow all your necessary steps, and if your attack is still less than their defense, you can discard 2 cards from your hand to deal a single point of damage. Note, you can't perform a minimum damage as well as regular damage. Also, damage stays with the fighter. If the active character gets switched with a bench one for any reason, the characters don't magically heal. Any damage they sustain before switching is kept should they return to the fight. Hopefully by now you should be able to beat the best that Demon Realm has to offer. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and all that, would you? And I'll see you all in the next video. <laughs> Later.